when we were at a fair once uh, selling the uh, systems, somebody was like, what does this do? And, and, you know, after 20 minutes of going scientific on the guy, he's like, what does it do? <laughs> it makes you feel good. Bottom That's line. It. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to make you feel good. What it's really doing is relaxing the cells. It's creating homeostasis, so balance inside and outside of the cells. It's reducing the inflammation. When we reduce inflammation, the healing can occur. Um, when we start addressing these different um, ideas, the reduction of inflammation, the homeostasis, the, the calming of the body, we can then use the vibrations to get all the cells in alignment. So they start opening and closing, resonating at the same frequencies, much the way a flower opens and closes throughout the day. When we get the cells into the open yes position, it then allows these other energies to come in and allow uh, the cells to say, yes, I want to change. Okay, let's change. Um, a typical session would be one where we um, bring the clients through um, the very thing that we just talked about. We then say, you know, the most important aspect of this is your own willingness to want to heal. There's nothing wrong with you to begin with. You're perfect. You're in perfect health. However, you're coming to us because you feel that there's a problem. So let's verbalize together. I give my cells permission to heal. Cells in my body, I love you, heal. This is an order. It's not like a horror type of thing, but rather I feel like the, the body is a closed loop system, meaning it receives information, but there's no way for it to send information out. So the only way that it can let us know that something's wrong is through pain or malaise or whatever it may be. When we are able to verbalize, our mouth is creating uh, sound. Sound is being picked up by the ears. It's being um, transferred into the body and the body's like, oh, okay, you're telling me something. So when we can do that, when we really know deep inside that healing's possible, it's just a shift of vibration away. It's, it's moving away from the thoughts of poor me, I'm sick, I'm not worthy, I'm not good enough, I can't do this, uh, I'm so tired of being tired, whatever it may be, into one of I feel joy, I can visualize myself being well and healed and everything is so beautiful, going into the session with that knowledge. We then bring the client into the, the room that the um, crystal bed is on, get them on the massage table, get a blanket on them, you know, the headphones, the, the pillow, all the, all the little niceties that you do. We then have the bar that lowers about a foot away from the body, and it's, it's down the center line. Um, choose, um, now, now, when I choose lights and I choose sounds, I tune in. And I just get quiet for a second, and I'm like, what would this, this client uh, need? And so then I, I choose the different uh, light patterns. I choose the sound patterns as well. And I choose the frequencies for the PEMF, which is that, that uh, coil that goes around the crystals. Now, typically, I don't change too much of that. Um, I don't like to change the... Um, the frequencies that the coil gets that much, it's it's either going to be 111 or 528. Uh, 528 is one of the sulfagio tones. It's said to work with the heart uh, chakra area and produce very easy, gentle uh, frequencies. I do not go into things around eradicating candida or anything like that. Uh, there's, there's too many uh, pitfalls in trying to find something like that. Uh, instead, you know, it's about consolidating the frequencies that we're working with through the vibration, through the light, 
and through the PEMF together so they all boost and build upon one another in a nice gentle way. Uh, the sessions typically last 30 to 45 minutes and um, the binaural beats that we've created for the system are really complex patterns. Uh, most you custom created those, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, most people, when they do the binaural beats, are only doing um, the left and right and then the center uh, frequency. So the center frequency is the one that you feel in the bed, the, the throbbing wow wow. And then the headphones are typically the ones that you hear a little bit of that, but also the 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 change in the pattern we layer those with some other binaural beats. So sometimes you're getting three separate binaural beats, so a total of 12 different frequencies, uh, nine different frequencies working together, and then those uh, build upon themselves. So we took a lot of time to figure out what the harmonics are of the different frequencies and to vary them. Uh, at one point in time, I played around with going, gee, wouldn't it be great just to have um, a REM sound for 45 minutes? It was horrible. My brain was like, you need to change things up. I can't stay in REM for 45 minutes. So it was such a valuable lesson and we do shift the frequencies in a gentle way. But what we found is that the brain can handle a multitude of frequencies at once. Um, if you've ever been to a um, classical concert, you know, you'll have 30 to 100 different um, pieces in the orchestra. And when you close your eyes, you can pick out each one. Mm -hmm. If you're skilled. They, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you can also have a beautiful um, just symphony of all of them coming together. And you don't need to pick them out. Right. But it, it has the ability the brain has the ability to listen to many, many, many different frequencies at once.